Uh, in this segment, we'll talk about how to find normal matrix. So for uh, M by N matrix, A, uh, we're going to define the infinity norm, or what's called the row sum norm. So this particular norm is called the infinity norm. Mm, it's also called the row sum norm. And there might be some other names for the same norm, but uh, again, what you got to understand is that uh, there are different types of norm. You might have a column sum norm, row sum norm, and so on and so forth. But in this particular um, course, we are only limiting ourselves to the infinity norm, uh, only because of the fact that uh, we need to use the norms to do other things. Uh, but if you are interested in finding uh, what other norms are, you can always do that. So what's the definition of the infinity norm? Is as follows, that you, it's a max, uh, one less than i less than equal to m uh, summation uh, j is going to one to n absolute value a i j so what this basically means is that you're going to find this sum right here uh, going from the first column to the uh, nth column for each uh, of the uh, rows so when we say one less than equal to i less than equal to m means that i will take the value of one two three four five six all the way up to m and you're going to find this summation for each value of i. Then once you have done that, you're going to find uh, what is the maximum of all those summations. And the summations, the way the summation has been taken is that you have to take the absolute value of each element in that particular row and add them all up. This will be clear from an example, but that's what this whole uh, summation, uh, whole this uh, row sum norm means. Now keep in mind that uh, the norm of a matrix is defined for a uh, rectangular matrix. It's not, uh, uh, it's not, uh, it's not only for uh, square matrices, but for rectangular matrix, uh, the norm is defined. Although in this course, we only are going to calculate norms of uh, square matrices because we're dealing with a uh, system of uh, simultaneous linear equations. Uh, so uh, we do need to keep in mind that the norm can be also defined for rectangular matrices. And this is the end of this segment.